All right, guys, today we're going to tie a mouse fly. It's a combination between a Moorish mouse and a fly developed by Joe Cermelli from Field and Stream called the Master Splinter. I kind of take a couple of ideas there and combine them. First thing we're going to do is tie in a rabbit strip. I use a natural um, rabbit strip, just natural hair. Next thing is I tie in about a quarter inch of foam. Um, this is just the foam you can buy at a craft store. Nothing fancy. You don't have to get a fly shop or anything like that. And I just wrap the heck out of it just because I don't want it spinning and moving on me. All right, we're going to tie in the same type of uh, kind of mouse colored rabbit strip. And yes, that's a women's hair clip on that you're seeing. It works like a third hand. You should go to Walmart and buy some and get funny looks from the people at the counter just like I did. All right, we're going to wrap this forward on the foam. Now, what makes this fly different than the Moorish, Ma or sorry, than the uh, Master Splinter is that the, the, Foam isn't as wide as on a Master Splinter. I kind of go thin, kind of like on a Moorish Mouse. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can look them up, Google them. The Internet's on the computer now. All right, so we're going to kind of start to form a head and get a nice kind of dam up there. Tie that rabbit strip down real good. Part the hair just like you part the hair on your doggone head. Now we're going to wrap that or take that foam. We're going to pull it forward. There's the notorious hair clip again. This time we're using beaver fur. That's right, beaver on a mouse. All right, we're just going to dub it a little bit, just kind of cover up the thread. This is probably more for me than the fish, I'll be real honest. But, it, you know, sometimes it looks like it gives it whiskers. Then you kind of double over the foam, and then trim the foam however long you want it. If you want to get real artsy-fartsy, you can, you know, give it ears and stuff. I'm going to put in a little bit more beaver. Again, just kind of cover up some of our thread, make, a little bit not look, make it look a little bit nicer. Yeah, I don't use dubbing wax or any of that nonsense. Now we're going to whip finish. We're almost done. Um, what I like to do here at the very end is to uh, trim off all of the hair on the tail and just leave a little tuft on the end. Unfortunately, I picked a dull razor to do this in the video, so this is going to take a little while. It really shouldn't take this long in real life, and you probably don't have to get real, real careful with this because... If you're throwing this at night for brown trout, or if you're throwing this for farm pond bass, they're not going to really look the tail over real carefully. Again, I'm probably getting a little OCD with this, but whatever. Uh, so there you go. That's just about it. There's your mouse fly. You can scale it down for smaller fish, make it bigger for bigger fish. Like I said, it's a combination between a Moorish mouse and a Master Splinter. There's your cute little ears. Now go throw it at your girlfriend and or your wife and see if they jump. And if they do, by golly, you did a good job. <laughs>